An Elon legend no longer works for Airmark. Now he's moving on and trying to get by. Steve Roth talks to the employee who some students say made Elon Dining. It gave me a kick in the teeth. Former Acorn and Octagon employee Eddie Talley was fired on October 11th, but he's been a well-known personality for Elon students over the past seven years. I don't know how many times y'all been in Acorn and, and I would be standing at the register and everybody be quiet. And all of a sudden, I tell everybody to smile and uh, don't look so sad, you know. That was just me trying to make people feel good. Aside from his memories from Acorn, Tally had a radio show on WSOE, but was told he couldn't do it anymore. Not only getting fired from a job, losing that at the same time, that was kind of hard. You know, it, they could have let me do a final show. And Tally says there's nothing he misses more about Elon than the students. Y'all like, like my little brothers and sisters. Without a job, Tally began thinking about a way he could reconnect with students and also bring in some money. These, uh, these here, they're plastic. And so I'd have to sell these for a little more than what I do in the, uh, in the bag. The town of Elon told Tally he needed a permit to sell the popcorn. Now he worries about what will happen as he awaits his unemployment checks. And I still got my bills to pay the next couple of months. Don't know how I'm going to pay them. Tally has been looking around for jobs and sent in an application to the Piedmont Triad Farmer's Market in Greensboro in hopes of selling popcorn there. Steve Roth, Elon Local News. Though Tally is no longer on WSOE, he now has an online radio show of his own. It's called Route 66 Radio, and he plays oldies music. It airs on Friday nights from 7 to 9 p.m. The link can be found on Eddie's Facebook page.